Well, we really don't expect a lot from the government. I don't think it's going to happen. They're more concerned with the residences, which is appropriate, I believe. But we've had our building insured for 50 years. We've never had a claim. And we need some satisfaction on our building so we can get back into business or else we're out of business. And that's our main concern is getting our business up so we can get back in business. Well, in the past, uh, the 92 storm, we had no insurance. Uh, we made it through. We borrowed money. Uh, we rebuilt. Didn't have assistance from anyone. Um, after a hit like this, we're going to have to bite the bullet. We're going to have to have insurance of some sort. Um, we were lucky enough this year to have dock insurance, um, but not flood for contents of the building. And if you look around our shop, it's quite extensive, the damage. So. I would say the damage in the building is probably around 50 grand in our, our tools. Or in excess. Or in excess, maybe. Mm -hmm. Our tools and machinery. You know, uh, we were lucky after the storm that the locals, as you saw on the sign right there, they came by and helped us because we would not have been able to do it ourselves. I mean, we're just up to you know what. You know, just trying to get things organized, get the boats back up talking to appraisers, adjusters, surveyors, customers, you know, it was... Support from our customers right. has been really, really good. Right. Our customers and have been fantastic. It's been an outpouring of either offers for help or offers for money, um, and it, it kind of makes you feel good, and it's the one warm spot that you get out of this whole mess.